Kane's Quest is an adventure race that crisscrosses the desolate landscape of the province of Labrador. Now, typically, this race runs only every other year, but it's back again in 2024 after they had to call it off halfway through the 2023 event. But basically, they ran out of winter. Due to the distances involved, we're going to chat with Chris Lacey in Labrador City via Zoom to discuss what's about to kick off in 2024. Before we jump into uh, 2024, let's look back at 2023. Give me a, a recap on last year's event and uh, and what happened there. Last year's event it was a was a fun one to say the least. Um, we left Lab City. It was minus 20. It was crisp and cold, and everything was great. And it was couldn't ask for a better start line. You couldn't ask for a better start line. And within 24 hours, uh, we had over 100 millimeters of rain on the coast. Cartwright and uh, different communities got unprecedented amounts of rainfall and do because of the ice and the snow as most of the snow those understand it didn't have nowhere to go so it just flooded the rivers it flooded the valleys and and flooded all the flatlands that normally would never have water on us and it just made the conditions around Labrador so impassable that it uh, we couldn't there was no safe possible way to make it around any route normally we make take things into consideration that okay well route a might not be impassable but route b might be okay a little harder but it might be okay but there was really no way to go around safely for all people to make it and uh, keep them warm and dry at the same time because temperatures were supposed to drop and then you risk other aspects when you're wet and cold and then you bring freezing temperatures into it so but it was unprecedented it made a, the weather turn from <clears throat> a bright nice winter crisp day to a summer rainfall in a matter of a couple of hours and it, uh, it really turned us upside down now, normally Kane's Quest is an event that happens every other year. Why are you guys running this two years in a row? We haven't had a finish line since 2020. To go to 2025 and race, it would be five years without a finish, five years without a banquet, five years without having racers do what they got to do. And we felt it to be a demise of the race. We felt it to be people lose interest, people would lose the spark of the event would go away. And we felt it paramount to the event to have a race in 2024 in order to keep the interest flowing, keep the hype going. And uh, it also, on a flip note of that, it gets us back in the even years, 24, 26, 28, which offsets us from other events that happen in our region in Labrador. We have winter games and a bunch of different things. And uh, there's only so many volunteers to go around. So to have it on that year, it also helps. But uh, the biggest reason was the fact that we really thought that five years without a finish would be uh, the death of the race. Now, with the uh, race coming back for 2024, are the communities along the race route, you know, looking forward to this? So what's the level of excitement up there uh, leading into uh, this year? It's actually better than 2023, personally, I feel. But I feel that the race communities, the checkpoints and all the people and all the racers are more hyped about this race than they ever were because of how bad last year was. The hype around this race is the most we've ever seen in a long time when it comes to people wanting this to come and go together. Uh, we kept the same route as we did in 2023 for the simple fact that we didn't get to finish it. Um, and again, we usually change our route up slightly. There's not a whole lot changing we can do in, in certain things, but uh, we didn't this time because we wanted to give those communities that, you know, put their faith in us in 2023 the ability to finish that because it's a big deal for racers to go through those communities in that way. So we wanted to keep those communities involved and keep the checkpoints in the, the way it was. So, but the hype is, uh, I, I'd say it's two times more than it ever was. Uh, that's awesome news. Now, I know Mother Nature, she can be fickle. What's long-term weather looking like for Labrador? The long-term forecasts are showing cold, showing some freezing temperatures and showing some snow coming. So hopefully we can get this uh, Mother Nature too bad. We couldn't get her on board as a volunteer to be great. Um, but uh, yeah, too bad. Hopefully she comes in and uh, she shows us what Labrador is all about and we can able to get this race happen on uh, March 3rd. Well, that's awesome news. I think uh, I'm looking forward to coming up this year. And I know some racers that we're going to be seeing in the next segment are super looking forward to coming up this year. And uh, I think I've got pretty much everything I can cross or braid together um, in hopes that Mother Nature is going to cooperate this year. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So, yeah, we hope that. We're super excited to have you guys come back to Labrador and uh, and be part of this race and be part of the tourism side, side of things. And uh, we'll see if we can't get together and show everybody what Labrador is all about in all shapes and sizes. I cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. Awesome. Look forward to seeing you.